everybody my name is farmer phil and in today's video we are going cutting the beans so father phil is just have to come in there just after getting into the field I have to move that banger out of the way we're in the field of beans this end there isn't a whole lot it's a bit of a grass it's the wet end of the field very little in it take apart the banger father phil is just setting up the combine for beans has to open up the sieves and that because the bean is sizably larger than barley so the sieves and the riddles and frogs mouths and all that crack has to be all opened up to accommodate that so this banger doesn't go off in my face but um so yeah we're out in the beans there's some green beans out here but it's 90 percent ripe so we're going to get it cut see what the moisture is and then see whether we need to dry it Just bang it out of the way and then we see what the crack is with father phil but yeah 10 acres of beans to get cut now This end of the field just ignore it was a wet end it's an overhead dig so as you get out there you just kind of right off this bottom headland all together but out there it's not a bad old crop of beans and get started then i'm going to head back to the yard to get a trailer a tractor and trailer to get up here and hoping for two big trailer load of beans if we have any more than that we'd be very happy so we'll see what the moisture averages are, whether we have to put through the dryer or not. But at least we have the dryer to use. You would have seen other years, we'd have the mill in the field and we'd have a big barrel of acid and we'd be going straight beans into mill, acid into trailer, and then tip them. And that was to keep them. But now we don't have to do that, we can dry them. And that makes, leaves it cheaper for us to do because the price of acid and other products to keep it is substantial. That reader seems to be going too fast. I think he has it. I think he's going down. Yeah. Okay, he has it. He's the reeler fan. It's, it's slowing down the way he's doing his able to get to slow down a bit. Get to just go slow enough to match the forward speed. Otherwise, he's just got to trash all the grain ahead of him. back into the yard out of the way we check and see what it's like coming out of it you can see the dust coming off the combine dust is always a good sign so we get out to where there's a pretty decent amount of beans and we see what the thing is like there is a percentage of the beans is down you have where the sprayer would have drove to fall and chocolate spot and that so there's a percentage of that is down really and truly we we'll check this side where all our beans are nearly up. <coughs> we we'll want to check to see some beans lying down. But what we're looking for, you have a percentage lying down. What I'm really looking for is to see any shedding. So you know, there's two beans there. You know, look and look and there's a bean there. There's a bean there. A few beans. I don't think it's enough to be concerned. Straw? What straw? There's, there's none, literally. Um, is that bit of green stuff? I'll be not going to bail straight away now. Seminary. Look, a lack of straw is kind of saying that maybe there's not enough plants per square meter to get a good yield. So. That's where we're at. 
I, there should be more straw because there's not now that is an rs so she has two drums so she really beat down the straw compared to the other combine whether that has anything to do with how much a physical straw looks because you can see yourself like it's really fat compared to other years that's just the first round of the pit map to see how it turns out but um yeah hey we're getting it caught that's the main thing and it's still only the 12th of september i think actually it's the 12th or 13th it's a one or the other we go get a tractor and a trailer ready to get take whatever beans we have out of here and then go back in our trailer so hopefully we fit on two trailers then we have to go combine a bit of organic crop for a man and then we're all going back to what we were doing beforehand i think i'm going back harrowing and, and father phil is going back rolling grain for customers uh lee is away at slurry and bro is in college so won't be seeing much of bro from now on probably till next summer because he is now a college student anyways we'll be on back to the yard we get the 3690 and the terrific rain trailer. So we're just in the field and Father Phil's way. <clears throat> Not what I want to see, but anyway, what can you do? It's nice to get in the right spot, the trailer. father phil has went round the field he's on the second time round so we won't see it until we're finished if we've two trailer load that's that's kind of what we're hoping for is two trailer load if we've less than two trailer load we'll be disappointed if we've more than two trailer load we'll be very happy if i have to try and find somewhere to tip a trailer we're gonna be happy the moisture 20 pull through the dryer yeah so 20 percent 20 percent moisture so you're gonna have to go through the dryer but that's not a big deal so it's not and that's our beans i'll eventually get to hold some of them There being a little bit of trash in it, but it doesn't actually feel too damp. But 20% that's right, the driest we've ever caught our beans. But what last year's 23, the year before is 28. There's some little small beans there, but I think the most of them seem to be pretty good plump bits of beans. Yeah, happy days. So just left the trailer on a pass in the center of the field. So she should be free to see. She shouldn't sink. Got the bridge just opening up the larger half of the field. Dust is dying off with it. Dust? You might hate to have to work in it, but it's always a good sign when you're at this job. We'll be home back to the yard and pick up another trailer that's full of spring barley that was cut at a field close to the house and was kind of left in the shed because we knew we were going to have to do this run so I'd save a run having to drive up and then drive back so that makes any sense so we have space in the shed up here to take barley so we're going to bring up a trailer that's full of barley a spring barley that was cut at home or cut in Killashie to tip in there with other spring barley and um, yeah they will have our second trailer for the beans while last year we had two trailer load of beans they were a 14 foot and a 16 foot trailer this year it's to hopefully two 20 foot trailers so that would mean we'd be up we have more acres uh, if i see more acres it's about an acre or an acre and a half more so it's not a lot but bigger trailers hopefully we'll have the full for dogs in so was, just leaving the yard and i think we have the combination everybody wants to see or i definitely want to see it anyways the 3690 on the massey 700 Grain trailer or a root trailer. I think at this stage it's a root trailer because it's short size and all that, but anyway. The 3690 and the massive trailer. I'd want to see it on it for some time and it's on it. So it's time to bay on up the road, back up to 
the Dutter farm, tip the load, be ready to take beans. And then, um, yeah. Probably can't hear me too well when I get moving in this, because straight pipe, uh, straight pipe can be quite noisy, so it can. It's quite noisy. That's the trailer lo emptied and um, something that always me off is when someone doesn't tidy up that bit off the back of the trailer and then spills it on out the shed. <coughs> Anyways, we're ready to go. So I'm going to fire up the drone straight away now because I don't know how much is left and I want to get some good footage. So we'll fire up the drone. waiting for the next load we're flying it and this is probably one of my most favorite jobs of the harvest is actually carting the grain because you end up where you've taken the load your trailer's not full and you have a bit of time to just kind of sit back knock off the tractor and just enjoy seeing the combine just slide across the field damn the combine for all the hassle we had getting it to the yard touch wood it is you can see yourself for home away. Now the freeler is still going too fast. He was at it and at it and at it. And we just, there's a point in time where you have to say it right. We need to get this cut. So it looks like it's going to be a winter job to straighten it. Now it's not causing us any issues as you can see. He just has it lifted up out of the way altogether. And um, you know, he drops it down every now and again when he gets a bit of a blockage. But it's all just falling in 
the power flow belt is just sucking in the crops there. Lovely. Fair enough to get to Yeah. We're just waiting now. He's a, we're about two thirds of the way through cutting. I'd say we should definitely have the two of the full of the trailer. No bar. The other trailer has it. Just needs a top off. My trailer is well underway. I don't think it'll hold another hopper full. Just needs them greedy boards. <laughs> Be nice now for the beat, but she just needs them greedy boards just to be able to hold that li little bit more. So. 36, 90 and Massey 700. Massey 40 in the background. It's looking, you could nearly call what you see behind you 90s agri because it's 1994, 1992, and I don't know what the trailer is, I'll have to double check that, but you know, your 90s outfit right there. Trying to pack in the beans now to You're for more in well, I think we can safely say We got her two full trailers out This trailer's packed full, the other trailer is full it is a packed full trailer. To get ourselves hooked up here and we'll be home back to this trailer and we'll get other trailer beans tomorrow and we'll probably go try them over the weekend. 
we just walk time before that. So we are going to be rolled on the, for other customers and we have a big combine in to do for another man and we have me away at Surrey as well, so busy, but it's always good to be busy. Sure, that's it done. So the beans are cut now and we're just coming back out to a bit of barley that was left because of the wet. So we're in the bottom end of the field um, where we actually bailed in the last video or it's actually well, it's the field below the other field but so there's a stretch along oh, here not a lot in it but if we get another run over it's another bit of barley we didn't have yesterday that's that's how you look at these things it's positive it's over a week now since we were here yeah it's a week yeah so in a week of drying out hopefully it might be that little bit drier so much rain so. yeah should be drier it's actually wetter in the middle than it is anywhere else shed so it's two days since we caught it there's no heat in the trailer yet 20% it will heat eventually so it's gonna to have to go through the dryer just to bring it down to keep it right for storing so we don't have to spend or put the acid on it but um, yeah very happy so two trailer loads of stuff happy with that so it's hell for leather here getting ready for the plowing championships next week we'll be going with our horse box here and a lock of merchandise and that as as one of my uncles i remember him saying if it's not last minute it's not worth doing what was it if it's not a rush it's no good so we're just getting ourselves geared up here to go we will be on stand 205 with eggman Hagri. we'll be there with the moors and all that crack uh, Liv will just stick in there what row and that it's on, but it's stand 205. So we'll be there from 11, the horse box will be open from morning till evening, but I'll be on the stand from 11 o'clock on the three days. Father Phil will be around the show on Tuesday. Tuesday. And yeah, we'll have more information on Sunday's video. This is a bit last minute, but um, yes, it's hell for leather at the minute just to try and get everything sorted. But the beans is cut, very happy with the yield and it's time to get them dry get them rolled but that's going to be next week's problem while we're at the plowing that'll be father phil and lee probably doing that but anyways we're going to leave it at that for today's video hope you enjoyed it probably my favorite bit of drone footage of the year with the 3690 thumbnail is top notch they've showed it to me super job but um hope you enjoyed it as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday hope to see you all at the plowing championships 
Good luck.